What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be basically releasing the PS4 AIO 5.05 tool and showing you guys the, all the features that are in it. So I wasn't initially going to bother updating this mod tool, it's a mod tool I made back in one for 176 consoles, uh, so quite a long time ago I did update it to 4.05 and 4.55 but I didn't really feel the need to update it because there's lots of RTE tools out now for PS4, um, so it didn't seem worth it, but loads of you guys keep messaging me on Twitter and in comments asking for me to update it, and people on PSX Hacks as well have messaged me telling me to update it to 5.05, so I'm finally doing it. I've, I've caved to the pressure, so uh, yeah, essentially I've gone ahead and updated this to 5.05, so I'm just gonna show you guys some of the features and show you guys how to use it. Um, so first of all, uh, let's cover some of the, the new tools that are in here. So it's basically, initially it was an all-in-one mod tool for 176 because there wasn't a lot in 176. So uh, it, it does FTP, it does package merging, payload injecting, um, UI modding, and also RTE tools for the COD games. So the old version had COD Ghosts Advanced Warfare Black Ops 3. I've updated Black Ops 3 to support 1.26 as well as the base version of the game. And now I've also added, um, no, Infinite Warfare was already there. I've added Modern Warfare Remastered and World War 2. So I'll cover those first here. So in order to use the tool, what you want to do is head on to your PS4, of course, and go to the uh, go to your system settings and note down your IP address. So if you go to system, and then you go to system information. So then you see your IP address. So mine is 192.168.137.55. So note that down and then you're going to go to the internet browser, load up your WebKit exploit and obviously go to 5.05 and then run, da -da -da, where is it? Run the bin loader and wait for that to say waiting for payload. Hopefully, there we go, waiting for payload. And then go over to the tool, type in that IP address here in the bottom left hand corner, so the IP of your PS4, and then you just click the button to inject payload. And there you go, it says payload loaded. So at that point, you can press the middle button and X out of the WebKit, and then start your game of choice. So let's go ahead and do Modern Warfare Remastered. Obviously, if you don't have the disc version of the game, if you're running a fake package, file then you'll have to run the homebrew enabler after you've injected the payload just auto assign load in so what you're going to want to do once you have the game loaded up is you just click on the game which is modern warfare remastered and then you click the connect button and it's going to say connected to ps4 you're going to get a message on the screen title id and it tells you if the version is supported or not uh, so version 1.02 is supported so is 1.00 and 1.13 of uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. So from there you click fetch clients and that, that grabs all the players in the game. So the way that this mod tool works is you select the client that you want to mod and then you select what mod you want to apply to that client. So I can select myself, give myself god mode, take weapon, uh, third person of course. Uh, we've got freeze player, so you do that none of the controls work, just frozen in one spot. Then you've got unlimited ammo, so we can put that on. Ammo is not running out. Same on secondary weapon and grenades as well. And even our good old trusty grenade launcher. <laughs> I mean, God, this just brings me back to 360 modding on COD 4 with unlimited noob tubes. That was a long time ago. Anyway, so, also, we have a name changer, so I can do, you know, let's change it to Modded Warfare Static Multicolor. So there you go, name change to Modded Warfare in different colors. And of course, teleportation as well. So you can go ahead and uh, teleport to Sky, which is another classic. There we go, on top of the map barrier. And we can go ahead and uh, teleport pretty much, you know, all players to our location up here. Just kill off all the enemies real quick. 
All right, so, and then also, you've got a few other teleport options, so... Wait, where's this guy going? All right, so let's select one of these guys right here. So I can teleport to selected player, so that teleports me to whichever player I select. Of course, I can teleport that player to me as well. So teleport player to me, and he teleports to me. And you can teleport to selected coordinates. So if I do that, that will teleport me back to these three coordinates, which is where I was when I was standing back down there on the map somewhere. So if I click teleport to selected coordinates, I'm back here again, back to where I was. Oh, I also forgot if I just go ahead and teleport back to the sky. Uh, yeah, thermal and red boxes as well, of course. So thermal vision, there we go. That works. Yeah, is this thermal vision actually meant to be in COD 4? I'm not entirely sure. Because it looks like the um, the Infinite Warfare thermal vision. So I'm wondering if they just like left it in when they were making uh, COD 4 Remastered. Or maybe it's, it is meant to be in there, I'm not sure. Either way, uh, red boxes as well. There you go. That works too. So yeah, so that's the COD 4 tool. And let's go ahead and load up... Uh, World War II, I'll show you guys that tool as well. Go ahead and run this. So again, I was just kind of rushing to get this tool out, so I haven't, you know, added as much stuff as I could have. I could have spent a lot longer trying to find some more things. I did find, actually, a couple of things, but they were just a bit awkward and it was taking too long, so I kind of ditched them. So um, I think there's still, you know, a decent amount of, of stuff in in the uh, COD4 and the the World War II tool. All right, multiplayer. All right, here we go, finally. God, this game takes way too long to set up. Okay, so finally in a game here. So let's go ahead and select World War II and basically connect. There you go, connected. Gives you the title ID 1.11 supported. And then we're gonna go ahead and fetch clients. So again, same thing as before. We've got God Mode, pretty much the same stuff, essentially. Pretty, like, almost identically the same stuff. So you've got, you know, third person, God Mode, unlimited ammo. It works. And then we've also got uh, red boxes. Although technically, technically it's more red circles on, uh, on World War II. Not entirely sure why they have this, but maybe there's a kill streak or something that... That... Uh, that activates those. All right, so, and then of course we've got, uh, oh yeah, this, this is weird. This is like cartoon vision slash um, body cams or body chams or whatever the hell you call it. So yeah, enemies just show up, pretty much any enemy just shows up in like translucent green for some reason. I don't know, it was, it was a weird thing I found. I thought, yeah, let's put that in uh, and then of course, name changer, teleportation is the same as well. Just teleport to sky. We Oh, there's no map barrier. Oh, that, that kind of ruins the fun. Alright, well, you get the idea. That still works. We can teleport all players to me. There we go. Just take them all out. And, of course, teleport to selected coordinates. Uh, teleport to selected player, teleport player to you, all the same stuff. Uh, name changer, let's just do that again, let's go for green. And it changes. So yeah, that's basically the mod tools. And obviously, um, the one that people most uh, probably wanted me to update the tool for is the Black Ops 3 tool, which is, I'm not going to go over because I've already gone over it, you know, back when I did the 4.05 version of this tool because nothing's really changed in here. It's still the same stuff, except it now supports 1.26. Um, but that's, yeah, that's definitely one you should check out because there's quite a lot of stuff in here. So moving on to just cover a couple of other things that the tool supports. So if we go to, uh, actually, I shouldn't have closed that. <laughs> Let me go back on this game a second. I forgot, I haven't showed the peak poke tool. I need to actually get a game up, game running in order to show that. I just realized how long this video is going to be. This isn't good. I had to get on with this. Okay, so let's just 
to see if I can do it from here in the main menu. So basically you go ahead and connect. So the peak poke tool lets you attach to a process. And then I don't want to peak that much memory, holy crap. Let's just peak this much memory. And there you go. So peak poke tool, you can edit uh, memory, of course, you can dump all of, you can dump the entire window to a file so you can search th through it. Um, dump just the data that you've highlighted. So you can invert the color scheme. You can go ahead and you know toggle string view on and off. You can search for hex values. So you know, let's copy this and then search for it from the start and it finds it. And then you can do like next occurrence, next occurrence. Yeah, there's, there's not gonna be another occurrence of, of those. So you can search for bytes, a sequence of bytes or individual byte. You can search for strings as well. So I mean, if we, if I search for elf, then it will find it will find it there. But yeah, you can search through you know really large amounts of data for strings and bytes and stuff like that. And then there's also handy little things like you know this uh, decimal to hex, which you know doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but trust me, when you're trying to like you know search for stuff. It's just useful to have these things. You don't have to keep using calculator all the time, which is just a pain. So, you know, being able to do that is, is useful. But yeah, that's the peak poke tool really quickly, just going over that and then console tools. So again, I'm not going to bother showing um, the package merging. Um, I have shown that in other videos. Basically, it allows you to merge uh, retail package files for like a game update so they come in like four gigabyte chunks like four gigabyte package files they will not install individually you have to merge them into one so the package merging utility allows you to do that you just drag your package files in here you select an output directory you click start and it merges them into one file um, then we've got obviously a payload injector which allows you to inject payloads there's a 5.05 .05 payload folder uh, in the install directory so you can add more payloads into it and they'll show up in this list or you can select custom and just drag a payload into here and eject it. Um, the listener allows you to listen on whatever port uh, you are you specify in here um, and then of course mod menu injector you can inject mod menus and finally FTP for this you have to run the FTP payload on your on the web kit so if we go here and we select FTP. God, this is the third payload I'm running. It still hasn't crashed. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and... All right, yeah, listening on port 1337. Normally I have to give this a few seconds, otherwise it may screw up. Okay, so the UI editor, connect. Basically, the purpose of this is just to, it allows you to swap out your home screen images, um, you know, rather than having to do it through an FTP client, which is uh, a bit more of a hassle. So you see it loads them all in here. And then if I want to swap out one of these images, let's just grab an image from my computer. It also resizes the image for you to the correct size as well. So you don't have to do that. Although you might want to if it's like a really long stretched image and it has to convert it into like a 512 by 512 so you might want to do that manually but it will resize it regardless so where the hell is an image file yeah so in order to replace it you can right click and replace image um, you can also extract the image as well so you can just like drag it to your computer just like that or you can go ahead and take some other image and replace it by selecting the image you want to replace and then just drag and drop the new image over the top of it. That'll swap it out. And then you just apply changes and that will upload that image file and you're done. And then when you restart your PS4, the new image should appear on your home screen. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, and then of course, there's a, just a regular FTP browser built in here as well. It can only import and export individual files. It can't do multiple files, unfortunately, um, but it's still, you know, can still be useful. Let's go into user, home, Let's try and find something, maybe some save data for some random game and right click export. And then I can select my desktop and export it. And there we go, it appears on my desktop. So I can extract files, I can import files, I can, you know, delete a file. 
So you can do all of that stuff with the FTP browser. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just trying to quickly go over all of that. I know it's going to be a long video anyway, because the tool does have quite a lot of stuff packed in there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's available. Link will be in the description. Um, go ahead and check it out. I have made the tool smaller because some people were complaining, people who have like really um, like low resolution monitors, like 720p, 1280 by 720, uh, like, you know, the tool was taking up the entire screen. It still pretty much takes up the entire screen on like a 720p, 1920 by 1080, but it is still usable because you can still, you know, type in the IP now and inject the payload and still see everything on screen that's not cut off. But yeah, um, this right now is zoomed in, just to be clear. Um, like, I always have my, uh, I always have this screen uh, zoomed into 125% when I'm recording so you guys can see things clearly. So in reality, it's normally not as big as it appears on screen here on a 1080p screen. So I'm um, just trying to clear that up. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. Check out the tool in the description and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.